Bonnie Lawfer, Sage Morning Canada. Bonjour to the both of you. How are you today? Bonjour. How are Ooh. you? I'm good. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, speaking to you from Toronto, Canada, not quite Quebec, you know, the French isn't fluent, but it's getting there. It's getting there. Um, <laughs> congratulations to the both of you. I love this show so much. I binge season two in like one seating and it's so much fun. Uh, Philippine, for you to come back and, and, and just play Sylvie and boy, does she ever step it up this season with a new boyfriend? I like that. <laughs> you like that. I like that too. <laughs> did you have playing you know you know that you're kind of used to being in her skin but stepping it up for the for this storyline yeah no, it was great it was great because I could open up a little bit we didn't I didn't have to wear that armor all the time so that was nice you know I could show something else I could show some sweetness I could show some you know vulnerability which was something I really liked and also a lot of strength because the professional situation is going yes. crazy and I had to deal with that Absolutely. She's got a lot on her plate, a lot to, a lots lot to do this season. And, uh, you know, Samuel, I, I love Julian. I mean, he, he has he has a great time in the office. And, uh, you know, he, he also gets a little bit of a, I don't want to give anything away, some extra things to do this season. But of course, the fashion. I mean, he dresses so well. Uh, dude, come on, do you get to take any of that stuff home? <laughs> well, honestly, I really, 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 really wanted to. I kind of, I kind of did. Kind of did a little bit, but not as much as I uh, not as much as I wanted. No, oh, that's not right. We got to write this into your contracts, all of you. I mean, I am so jealous of the clothing on this show; it's ridiculous. But how much fun, seriously, are you having? And and now that everybody has this camaraderie, you guys all know each other from season one. You come into season two. You're you know battling the COVID thing. Well, how did that you know change the dynamic? You think for season two, Samuel? Well, I feel like we were. I felt like way more ready for season season two. We we knew our characters, we knew each other's. Uh, everything was there. Yeah, everything was there. We just had to run with it. It was easier. Yeah, yeah. No, it looks like you just our guys are are so close and having a great time. Uh, Philippine, for you, I mean, you're, you're a veteran actress. I love seeing you in everything that you do. Uh, I'm you know pretty upset obsessed with call my agent too i can talk about that because it's netflix so we're all good but for you to choose a role you know um is this one of the to me watching you it just looks like you're having such a great time is this a, like a real highlight for you in your career to be on a show like this like emily obviously yeah yeah, yeah obviously i mean it gives me an audience even though uh, call my agent was also on netflix but it was a french show and yeah. my part was much so smaller and sure. this suddenly has a, you know, a huge audience and the character is apparently people like her. So I'm, I'm, I'm very honored to be, I'm grateful to be on the show. And obviously it has changed a lot of stuff. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm still wondering where my life is going to go after this, you know, season two is going to probably bring some more surprises. I don't know. Yeah, well, <laughs> season three, let's hope, you know, I got, I got to say, honestly, working with somebody like Lily Collins, um, first of all, there's nobody more adorable than her, clearly, but she's also, you know, she's the boss on set too. She produces it. She puts a lot into this. Samuel, what is it like to work with her on, on both levels? I mean, like she really, really makes it easy. She makes it easy. My first day on set, you know, I was really impressed by by all of this and she really really makes it easy for you to work it's all about work you know and she's having fun at the same time and she's yeah. so clever she's really the right person to be leading a show like that yeah and i agree me, yeah mm -hmm. yeah tell me a little bit about because obviously between her and sylvie there's a little bit of you know animosity there because sylvie's not happy she doesn't want this american in the office but to work with with someone like lily like she just really to me seems like she's got her head on her shoulders Right. And also, especially during season one, season two, a little bit, I was, uh, but season one, I was really in character because I was, I didn't know how to, how to take this character. I was like, I'd never done a villain in my life. So I really had to be in character all the time. And obviously I was not very easy to be with at that, you know, during season one. And, uh, and Lily was taking a lot of my, you know, temper things, tantrums, whatever. And she was so professional. She did get it right away. She just yeah. looked at me and said, okay, she's in character. I don't have to take it personally. She's, and she's an incredible professional. She's adorable, as you said, and really kind to people. Really the kindness that she has is really surprising, you know, being the star that she is. Um, and 
yeah, there's nothing to say. She comes on set, she's beautiful, she's wonderful, she's talented, and she just goes for it. And then she's she's on top of everything. She's seeing everything. No, she's a great person to work with. And she's, as Samuel said, the right person to be a leader of a show like this. Yeah, yeah. well, it's such a great show. It's so much fun to watch. And uh, I really appreciate both of your time today. Happy holidays to both of you. Thank you. Yeah. Happy, Happy holidays to you. Bye. Okay.